Hi everyone, let's understand. This is new paper published in 2020-23. Here is um, guidelines for interpreting the results of bibliometric analysis, a sense-making approach written by Van Maktelim and Satish Kumar. These are the two professors who had written this paper and uh, no doubt this paper, it is very informative, very insightful, this paper. And uh, this is the abstract of this paper. And this paper is uh, available. This is published in this particular journal. You can see here, Global Business and Organizational Excellence. And uh, this paper is... Uh, is easily available on Google Scholar when you have to um, write title of this paper and uh, you can download this paper. It's uh, open access and it's uh, freely available. So this is the abstract and in this abstract very uh, beautifully explain what is sense making process that is scanning, sensing and substantiating. And uh, we will move towards first part, first section, it is defining introduction, what is bibliometric analysis and uh, why we do we need bibliometric analysis and uh, how employed in systematic literature review, it involves the quantitative analysis of scholarly works. As well as when we will move to further, the core strength of bibliometric lies in its extensive reach and intricate detail. And uh, further, we will move to other things. These are the theoretical foundation. The categories and contribution of bibliometric analysis, uh, these things has been defined over here, introduce bibliometric analysis as a technique that effectively synthesizes large quantities of bibliometric data to present an overview of a field performance and intellectual structure. And uh, here is variety of metrics, publication metrics, citation metrics, publication citation metrics, all these things that is required means H index and all. Further, we can <clears throat> go ahead. Theoretical perspective, bibliometric analysis that supports theory development by discovering knowledge clusters in the field of objectively First theoretical contribution here is which in turn can, here is the nomological networks. And further, that is the second theoretical contribution. And the third contribution, the social patterns and process supporting knowledge development in the field. And fourth theoretical contribution, evolutionary, here is nonsense of the field and the knowledge gaps in the fields. Here is, you can see all these things well defined over here. And further, sense making is what is sense making? You can see here the concept of sense making in the, in the next part 2.2, the concept of sense making and its utility for bibliometric analysis. So that means how we can correlate sense making with bibliometric analysis. Sense making is described as a process by which individuals develop cognitive maps of their environment. So sense making directly impact, impacts the quality of the resultant knowledge and the effectiveness of decisions based on the on that knowledge. Further, they have defined uh, what is actually how we can define sense making uh, definition. So you can see defined as a process where we are, where, where Plausible meaning and rationals are ascribed to be an observed phenomena, subject, or trend after rigorous evaluation with the insights obtained having significant implications for decision making. So sense making can be a powerful tool for bibliometric studies. Further, we can come to the how to engage the sense making in bibliometric analysis. We can see here gap between quantitative data and qualitative interpretation, basically. We would like to fill this gap. So sense making within the context of bibliometric analysis through a step-by-step -step guide involving the three-pronged uh, three approach, you can see scanning, sensing, and substantiating. And first point is 3.1, that is scanning. So three part, three Cs, three S, scanning, sensing, and substantiating. So scanning is the initial phase in the sense-making process where researchers familiarize themselves with the bibliometric 
results. So here is, first of all, we would scanning our, this data. So by observing and notifying these initial patterns and trends, researcher lay the groundwork for the deeper interpretation that follows in the sensing phase. So next phase means after identifying all those things, then next phase is sensing. So sensing is the next step in the sense-making process that involves a detailed interpretation of the data gathered during the scanning stage. So in this stage, researcher engaged in a process of inquiring, developing, an understanding of the how, why, and so what of the identified patterns. And uh, finally, we will reach to the, there's a lot of uh, description, and description is here. You can refer this paper. And finally, here is, we can see, this, there is a one example had given a cluster that reflects the theme of customer engagement in social media. It is encapsulated studies that investigated how brands can leverage social networks for brand engagement, customer engagement, and social media marketing and social media such as Facebook and Twitter. That is one of the uh, well-defined example has been given over here. And the last phase of this, uh, this approach is substantiating. So substantiating is the final stage in the sense-making process, a crucial step where researchers established the trustworthiness of their findings. And uh, here is recommendations. Researchers in this stage demonstrate the credibility, confirmability, and dependability, and transferability of their interpretations. So one by one, in, this, in the last phase, that's the most crucial phase of this approach, credibility, that is attained through rigorous application of performance analysis and science mapping, make science mapping techniques. This includes triangulation involving multiple methods to analyze and interpret the same data set. For example, disciplinary coverage claims can be tri triangulated based on the most influential article and here is prolific journals. Confirmability, if we will talk about this to the objectivity of the findings, ensuring they accurate reflect the data rather than researcher's assumption or biases. So that, yeah, that would be confirmation part. And dependability refers to the consistency and reliability of findings to establish dependability. Researchers could implement cross-checking. We can see here, this is the well-defined table is given. I'm just rotating this table. Now you can see sense making is a bibliometric analysis, scanning, scanning part that is the description of a scanning, then requirement why we do we need this requirement and implications if undertaken. Sensing here is you can see sensing, sensing uh, description, requirement and implication of this undertake, undertaken and substantiating here is again all these three things has been defined well. I'm just rotating this paper once again. Now we come to the next page. You can see, panel A, bibliometric analysis without sense making, right, means data is converted into information, right, without application of the sense making. But panel B, that is reflecting bibliometric analysis without a robust framework for sense making, right? So that is conspiracy to conspiracy theory and all these things. We can draw any, this one is the, and any interpretation means and bibliometric analysis with a robust framework for sense making now you can see data data is converted into information and information is converted into insight further we can come to the last point of this uh, third phase that is transferability that relates to the extent to which findings can apply to other contexts no doubt those information we had extracted from this information how we can transfer this uh, information into another context. And finally, this is the conclusion. So understanding the performance and intellectual structure of research field through bibliometric studies, the three S of sense making, that is scanning, sensing, and substantiating, offer a robust framework to navigate the complexity and uncover deep, actionable insight about the evolving landscape of research field. So we can see here, uh, this paper is a uh, uh, good paper and you can refer this paper, you can cite this paper during your research work and I think each and everyone should read this paper. It's really a very insightful paper. So I'm sure this video would be helpful. Thank you for keep watching. Stay tuned.